as deliverer of captives and defender of the poor, healer of the infirm, champion of kings, victorious great martyr George, intercede with Christ our God for our soul's salvation. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. It is with great joy that I greet all of us as we are at the beginning of this Nativity Fast. As we begin this Nativity Fast, may each and every single one of us recommit ourselves to the gospel, recommit ourselves to Christ, recommit ourselves to the church, recommit ourselves to one another. As we begin this Nativity Fast, I would like to read a letter that we wrote in our parish to our beloved parish family to encourage us during this Nativity Fast, which we know will be a little different than years past. I encourage also all of us to read the Archpastoral Letter of His Eminence Archbishop Michael, which has been sent out on Sunday and will be posted on our parish website, as well as on our Facebook page. Please share the message of His Eminence, our Father in Christ, our Gospel and Shepherd who loves us, and who will guide us through not only this fast, but will continue to lead us on a path of truth. If only Jesus were here. The Gospels tell the story of the disciples suddenly caught in a terrible storm on the Sea of Galilee. Here is their boat tossed and turned in a horrible fury of a storm. But the disciples feared the worst feature of the situation was that Jesus was not there with them. Can you imagine they must have said, if only Jesus was here. But he is there, and he is here now. That very night when the disciples, around midnight, the darkness of the sky, the stormy waters of the sea, that very night when he was praying in the hills of Galilee, he had a vision of a frail little boat tossing on the sea. He knew the urgent peril of his disciples. And as the gospel message says, in the fourth watch of the night, he went out to them walking on the sea. When our life is submerged in pain, in grief, in sorrow, in suffering, in uneasiness. Let us not say, if only Christ was here. He is here, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us lift up our heads. Look up. We are in the presence of Christ. He is here with us. He will always be here with us, walking not on the Sea of Galilee, but on the troubled waters of our soul to bring us calm and peace to the storm within. Who is that even the wind and the waves obey him? He is none other than Emmanuel, the Son of the living God. God is with us. God is within us. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the most pure temple of the Savior, the precious chamber and virgin, the sacred treasure of the glory of God, is presented today in the house of the Lord. She brings with her the grace of the Spirit. Therefore, the angels of God praise her. Truly, this woman is the abode of heaven. This is the contagion for the great feast 
Now the answer to the Thea Tokas, which we will celebrate this coming Saturday, November 21st. These beautiful words, the Kuntakna of the Feast, are heard as the divine liturgy on the Feast of the Angels of the Theotokos. How prominent it is that we all call upon the Mother of God as the most pure temple of the Savior, the precious chamber and sacred treasure of the glory of God. One may ask, what is meant by this? Why do we celebrate this feast? The feast of the entrance of the Theotokos into the temple foretells God's blessings for the human race, the preaching of salvation, the promise of the coming of Christ. And this, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear parish family, is what we are preparing for when we journey through the Nativity Fast. It is with this festival celebration, such as this, that the great acts of salvation are open to us. In these celebrations, culminating in the celebration of the Divine Liturgy, the body of Christians is made into the body of Christ. In these celebrations, the kingdom of God is being revealed to us and proclaimed to us. With the proclamation of the gospel, we are given the opportunity to receive the living word of God into our hearts, into our souls, into our lives, which renews and illumines those seeking to run the race that is set before us by embracing the word we are invited to draw near and receive from the table of the kingdom the bread of life and the fountain of immortality my dear brothers and sisters in Christ let us always look to the mother of God especially now in the midst of the Nativity Fast, in the midst of this pandemic, as she enters into the temple, as an icon of her entering into our life, let us look at this feast that we are going to celebrate as one that provides us with the strength, the protection, and the firm conviction that yes, Truly the Mother of God is the abode of heaven for us. As we begin our journey through the Nativity Fast, let us look to the Mother of God for our protection upon our parish, upon our families, upon our nation, upon our city, and upon our brothers and sisters here and throughout the world our friends and our family, and forever beneath her shelter and her protection and her omophoria and her compassion, we may not only continue to proclaim to the world this saving act of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ by fulfilling and proclaiming the gospel, but more so, we will live it and we will grow from it. Let us call to the Most Holy Theodokos and Ever Virgin Mary with the words that we sing in her honor on the feast of the entrance. The Most Holy Theodokos, the Most Pure Temple of the Savior, the Precious Chamber and Virgin, the Sacred Treasure of the Glory of God, is presented today in the house of the Lord. She brings with her the grace of the Spirit. Therefore, the angels of God praise her. Truly, this woman is the abode of heaven. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear parish family, I stand here before you as your priest, as your shepherd, as your father in Christ. If I have failed you in any way, 
If I have misguided you, if I have sinned against you or caused you to sin, I ask for your forgiveness and for your consumed prayers for my unworthy self, for Mother Shikatia, Anna, Alexandra, our family. And above all, continue to love one another, continue to support one another, continue to pray for one another. Especially now during this nativity fast, during the midst of this pandemic. We don't know what's going to happen day to day, hour to hour, minute to minute. But let us turn to Christ, especially now, more than ever, and ask Him to come into our lives. Ask Him to always be here for us and with us, and lead us to the great feast of His holy nativity when we gather together as one family, proclaiming his joyous birth and holy nativity with one voice, one mind, and one heart, saying, God is with us. Christ is born and glorified him. During this nativity fast, I encourage all of us to take the opportunity of praying more, of fasting more, are reading Holy Scripture more, participating in the services that are being offered. We will live stream all of our services, even during the week, to give everyone an opportunity to participate in them through prayer. I encourage all of us to participate in the educational class that are being offered on Monday and Wednesday evenings as an opportunity for us to grow in our understanding of Holy Scripture and our faith. I encourage all of us to participate in the many outreach opportunities we will have here within our parish to minister to our brothers and sisters in need. Hearts for Homeless, Roswell Park, Baker's Victory, and all of our ongoing ministries that we are blessed to have here in our parish of St. George. Whatever we can do during this Nativity Fast to grow closer to our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ to go closer to his church and go closer to one another. Let us do it now. Let us do it today. Whatever happened up until this moment, whatever indifferences we may have had with one another, whatever difficulties or challenges we may have had, leave it behind. And let us begin anew. Let us begin fresh. Let us renew our commitment to our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, His Gospel, His Church, and to one another. Begin a new life in Christ, with Christ, and for Christ. So that as we journey through the Nativity fast, we may not only grow spiritually, we may not only bring the love of our Lord Jesus Christ to others, but God will, will bring others to Christ. And give all glory to the one true God who is more than we love ourselves. May he see us through this fast. May he see us through this pandemic. And may he see us and bless us to see the glorious birth and holy nativity of his beloved son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, to the prayers of our holy patron saint, the holy great martyr, wonder worker, St. George the Victorious, may God continue to bless all of us our families and our entire parish family and always keep us and everyone here throughout the world in his loving care. May God bless you and may God keep you with my loving prayers always. As we live of captives and defender of the poor, healer of the infirm, child of kings, victorious great martyr George, intercede with Christ our God for our soul's salvation.